So tell me about your role and uh, how did you get into it? I play uh, Rick Delorier, who was the head of the FBI in Boston at the time of the bombing. Um, and he's a uh, guy that had been in Boston for a lot of years, had, had been part of some very, very big <coughs> cases, but was pretty close to uh, making the call to kind of leave the FBI and, and uh, go into the private sector when the, when the bombing occurred. Um, Rick was a very uh, kind of focused, by the book, meticulous, um, some people would say boring kind of um, guy. And, um, you know, I've, I, I, I looked at all of his uh, press conferences and subsequent interviews after, after the, after the uh, bombing, obviously read about him and the various you know, books and publications and the FBI reports on the, <laughs> on the, um, on the bombing and also in, on that, that five-day period to, uh, in search of these, these, these guys. Um, and then eventually met with him. So when you have a real person, to me a lot of playing a character is, is backstory, is trying to figure out where your character has been, what kind of a life he's had, what kind of a childhood, and, and uh, where he spent his time and his schooling and mm -hmm. religion and all those kinds of things. Um, you know, when you have a real person, a lot of that stuff is, is provided for you. Now, what did you find about the events that you didn't know about before? I didn't really know uh, all the stuff about the, um, the search for the guys, about the facial recognition, about the, the decisions, about whether or not to release the photos to the public. Uh, I had forgotten about the New York Post um, uh, falsely accusing a couple of um, young men of having done this based on nothing. Um, and uh, I certainly uh, had missed the fact that the bombers, after having seen their faces on television, had decided to gather all of their weaponry and their bombs and head down to Times Square, which is where I live in New York. Mm -hmm. so, so that was a big piece of it that had just kind of uh, gone past me. And how intense was it to work with Mark Wahlberg and Peter Berg? And uh, do they really act as if they're real brothers? You know, they have a close camaraderie. They do have a close camaraderie, and um, I really liked uh, the. I really liked the, um, the the style that Pete has is is. Uh, is interesting because he shoots with three cameras for the most part. Uh, so you have three cameras and three camera crews. Uh, and there's v it's very fluid. There's no con you're never really locked into one space or one spot or one mark. And he would just kind of throw us into a place and say, just play the scene and, you know, see where it takes you. And once I look at it and see what's happening, then maybe I'll kind of say, well, it'd be a little bit better if it was over in this direction or over in this direction. But, but that's like a very, um, it's, it, it, gives, it lends a kind of a, a real kind of visceral reality to the, to the, to the filmmaking, which I, I really enjoy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what is this film truly about for you? Well, I think it's, you know, it's said very specifically in the film, and that is that love beats hate that you, you know, you have to hold on to the, um, the notion of human beings as being essentially good and, and uh, being able to come together and, and, you know, respect each other in a sense of community and a sense of support that the city of Boston showed for each other.